bombshell. Nandekano has dropped another bombshell. The leader of the indigenous people of Biafra has poured out his mind during a live broadcast interview on Radio Biafra last night. According to the report, Nandekano said that the Eastern Security Network was formed in order to enable the Eastern people to have protection against the killer Fulani headsmen who have been harassing and baselessly killing them under the watchful eyes of the federal government without doing anything. But when the Eastern Security Network operatives started challenging the bandits, the initial silence the initially silent government started defending them. Speaking further, he bemoaned the Thursday attack on the Eastern Security Network and also declared that by so doing, the federal government has officially started the second Biafra war against the Easterners and IPOP. Still bearing his mind, he lashed out at the foreign gov countries for not intervening in any way since over the years that the IPOP have been enduring the lawless attacks by the animal breeders. Lastly, he made his readiness to face the International Criminal Court at Hague, known if IPOP Defending, saying that if IPOP defending their fatherland against their foreign raiders and looters calls for it. Headsmen will attack us, rape our women, destroy our farms and kill our farmers. Nobody will arrest them. But when we try to defend ourselves, government will come after us rolling out the tanks and using their helicopter gun boats. If defending our ancestral land against conquest by Fulani Janjaweed invaders will take me to the Hague, I am ready to go to the Hague, Namrikano drops. From the words of Namrikano, could it be that he is ready to go any length on this issue? Because he had previously said that it will take more than the Nigerian army to wipe out the members of the Eastern Security Network from the Biafra land. And with the way things are going and uh, with the sound of war that is being heard, there, is, there are reasons to believe that there is going to be serious issues if care is not taken and if the situation is not carefully handled or nipped into the board. You will recall that Chief Femi Fanikayode had earlier tweeted a day ago saying that this is a chilling and sinister warning. I know Atmazi Namdekanu well. He does not speak lightly or make empty threats. I advise Ad Muhammad Buhari to take his words seriously. The North is on fire and the West is on the boil. If the East ignites with an armed struggle, then Nigeria is doomed, he said. From the words of this man, could FFK Chifemi Fanikaode be right in his tweet about Namdekanu as it were, saying that Namdekanu does not make empty threats? Regardless of his nature, he just needs to tamper his angry mood with some restraint in order to allow peace to prevail at last. But guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? With the way things are going, there are reasons to believe that things might eventually escalate beyond the level of what can be handled within the country, Nigeria. This might just end up going international or getting the international community's attention to intervene on this issue. From the look of things, Namdekano is set to 
take another massive step. And he has said that if it requires him going to The Hague to face the International Criminal Court, that he is ready to go. This is this is really, really um, challenging and it is scary if you ask me in my own opinion. I don't think this issue should escalate to the International Criminal Court. And that is why I would want to re-echo uh, the words of Chief Femi Fanikaude that he said or tweeted some days ago where he asked the federal government to dialogue with Nambekano on this issue. Since the government is already dialoguing with bandits in the north, with the Boko Haram and all insurgents in the northern part of the country, in the interest of peace, I want to lend my voice as well to the voice of well-meaning Nigerians and uh, intellectuals who are foreseeing the dangers ahead to caution all and sundry and advise the government of Nigeria to entertain peace and dialogue with Nambekano so that things does not go out of hand. Because if things eventually spiral and get out of hand, there's going to be serious challenges. There's going to be serious issues. Lives will be lost at the end of the day. The number of lives that are going to be lost will be much more than anticipated, imagined, or even uh, to be bared. Lives do not have to be lost. People do not have to die. Situations do not have to go out of hands. People don't have to lose their lives. People do not have to uh, be rendered homeless for peace to reign in this country. One would have imagined that the interest of the people, the general public at large, should be the number one priority of the government. Come to think of it, if the government can negotiate, interact with the bandits in the bushes and forests in the northern part of the country who have continuously killed innocent people, kidnapped innocent people, collect ransom from the government, then it is not out of place if the government, first of all, they prescribe IPOP, then enter into a dialogue with IPOP so as to resolve these issues amicably. If this is done, then to a very large extent, there will be peace and the area will be calm and people can have some sense of decorum and belonging. Well, these are my thoughts and opinion. I stand to be corrected if I am wrong. What do you think, guys? Because from the way Nambekano is sounding, it's as if hell is going to be let loose anytime from now. Well, drop by at the comment section. Let's know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Endeavor to share these new stories with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Hit the bell icon so you can get notifications when I post new stories. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support, and I will see you on the other news. Thank you, and bye for now.